always wanted to say that. Like, I walk around the house saying it, and I don't got no YouTube. But now, I can say it and be for real. Hey, guys. All right. Well, everyone's asking for the tutorial on the top knot pineapple bun thingy. You know, this is my hair untouched. If you have locks, you know, this is how we look most of the time. Rough. But this is going to be a quick tutorial because as I said in the videos, the video that I made before, I do not like long tutorials. Like, I be skipping all through them, so I'm going to make this easy as possible. Alright, my hair is thick, my parts are uneven, but this is my hair. And I just do a little slight retwist. Don't necessarily need product because I have a little on there already. And I take them. And if y'all follow me on TikTok, y'all seen that TikTok about me um, only retwisting my front row. <laughs> I was dead serious. Yes, I'm one of them. And I don't do it too tight, but my locks are thick, so I don't have a lot of breakage because I know a lot of people were commenting saying that I was going to make my hair fall out and blah, blah, blah. But I don't really go for nothing crazy. Of course, these my little edges right now. All right. Do this one in the back. All right. Okay, so of course you do the infamous half and half style. Don't laugh at my faces, y'all, because I be making some crazy faces. <laughs> okay, that's the ponytail. And my dreads are really my locks. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, lock gang. My locks are uneven because I cut them into like a layered look, so don't mind them if they look <laughs> All right, and this style is really, really easy. Don't mind my retwist. Y'all could do a little better than that, but this is just a tutorial. I'm not going anywhere. But I actually did this style by accident because when I do my ponytails, I don't like the hair bow to show. So I usually take like the longest lock and I usually like wrap it around like that and tuck it. So one day, I decided to keep going. I was like, I wonder how it would look if I just keep going up, up, up. And I just kept using the longer ones. Like, as you keep doing it, the longer ones will stand out. See, I just literally wrap it. And I'm tucking it in the back. Tucking it in the back. See how I got taller already? I don't know why this should want to go over there. See, it's taller. This is kind of cute too. But to get the more pineapple effect, you know, you gotta find the longest one. And just wrap it around. Literally, this is all you're doing. You're taking the lock. And you wrapping that thing around like that. Oh, let me get a little close. See? Literally. And you just take the end and tuck it. Wherever it stops, you tuck it. See? Okay. So, let's see. Then I got... See? Okay. See how that long one popped out like that? Keep on wrapping and keep on wrapping. Oh, wrap it. See, Lord, let me wrap this one because this one just is not cooperating. You're gonna pull it tight, keep on wrapping and tugging, just keep on wrapping and tugging and wrapping and doing. Uh oh, got one that's supposed to be up. I'm just gonna wrap that around like wrap and tug. Woo, I had to break a sweat. <laughs> All right, so. You can go up as high as you want. Like, it's up to you. This is cute like this. And yeah, y'all know I got the locks with the curly ends, but they are not moisturized at this moment. So I'm gonna wrap a little more, then I'm gonna show y'all how I get my 
ends back curly. Let's see, let's wrap that one. This style is funny though because <laughs> I literally hit my head when I get in the car, out the car. I be forgetting that it's tall. Walking around like a tree. Alright. So you kind of play with it, you know, till you get the feel <laughs> of how you want it. Sometimes I don't like when the longer ones are hanging. So I took those. Okay, now to my ends. This right here is my bestie. This is my best friend. Yes, this is just um, water and conditioner. You could probably add oil and stuff too, but I ain't with all it. But I just take this and I spritz my ends. If you have natural hair, you already know how important this water water bottle with this conditioner and water is. It brings the hair back to life. All right, you see the little ends curling up right there. Sometimes I finger coil them. Sometimes I just leave them alone. And I'm gonna do a tutorial soon on me combing up my ends because I get a lot of questions about that too. You just roll them. These two <laughs> trying to grab it and look at the camera. All right, just bring some to life because it might be crusty when it dry up. <laughs> All my natural hair people understand how hair get crusty. All right, so you just play around with it like. Sometimes I like to keep them, you know, sticking up like that island girl. Mm -hmm. the island girl. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm going to do my, my ears right here. Spray, 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 I use kind of any kind of conditioner. I'm not like a person that's all for specific things. I use whatever be around. This little hair in the back. I'm gonna tuck that. I like this little stuff like this because I know my lock game understand. Little pieces of hair just be coming out the lot. It's so annoying. Okay. And we're gonna spritz them in, spritz them in, spritz, 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 spritz. And it's like half, I think it's like half and half, half water, half conditioner. And my ends are kind of locking back up again. That's why I have to kind of comb them out every few months. Cause they always lock back up, but for the most part, they're there. Real goddess locks. Okay, so then, hold on, is that curl curling back there? Let's spray this one. Is that she? Okay, and the edges. Woo, the edges. Mm -mm -mm. Let me show y'all what I do to my edges. This product right here is called BTL Braiding Gel. I use it for my clients and I see how good it slicked their hair down. Yeah, so I had to try it on. And I'm stuck like Chuck. But you know, just put a little bit all around. Lay them down. And Another trick about edge control is 
say like, okay, now I'm putting it on, right? When I'm about to do it again, instead of piling it on top, like causing all that build up, I just take a washcloth with some, um, a dab of shampoo, and I, of course, wet it. And I just like scrub it off because you don't want to keep piling it up because it'll definitely cause build up. And we don't want that. But yeah, you just slick them. Slick them. Look at this slick them. Mm -mm. Look at that. Golly. Slick. And you slick that side. And you slick that side. And you slick that side. And then you just rub it up. Like I said, this is just a tutorial. Usually this right here look better, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't do that second row. I only did the front. Just because I don't like long tutorials and I wanted to get straight to it. And I usually do the back and all that. That's why you see them frizzes, but it's okay. As long as you get the idea of what I did, my mission is accomplished, okay? See that? It's so cute. And then if you want your edges to lay down really, really good, just take your little scarf. Or a little head wrap and just wrap them edges and you'll be good you'll be good i'm so excited to be showing y'all these tutorials like this is this stuff is made for me i really love helping people i love the fact that somebody's gonna look at this video and then they're gonna be walking around like an island girl because of me i love it i love it all right so i'm done Follow me on Instagram at Navelocks, N-A-Y-L-O-C-Z. And then follow me on Facebook at Nene with two Y's. And also follow me on TikTok at Navelocks. Same spelling. I love this. I'm new to this, but guess what, y'all? This is only the beginning. It's way more to come. Just stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. Alright guys.